Carlson joining on his guitar. Oh, yeah. Good morning, Larry. Hey, good morning. Peter came walking in out of the rain with a stack of equipment. It was just one load. Well, a load and a half. Yeah. Yeah, just like I still remember this, literally running up the street with a guitar to become the first live musician on the air in this building. That's right. There was a party going on, and I, I had to be part of it. Oh, uh, you are. You've been a part of it for a long time and will be in the future. That was a special day. We just KVMR didn't move far. It was just across the street, but it was a big move for sure. And it's also awful good to be here. What a, what a great place this is. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, being in this studio, uh, it looks kind of down, <laughs> complicated when I look at this. Even when I come in, and I've been doing this for years. Well, it is. It was an upgrade. Yes, it was, and even that wall over there is tilted a little bit so that sound doesn't bounce around the room that's that's a good idea mm -hmm. yeah and this is a, a new thing for me peter brought in i guess it's a preamp or an amplifier i'm well, not sure just what a it, whole bunch of little boxes and uh, wires boxes and wires basically and wired into our yeah. mic channel so <laughs> electrified <laughs> i don't know how to do it i can't do it anyway i can't move around that much right now but uh, what are we going to play? I'm going to play, uh, I was just, uh, my, my brain is just uh, racing about trying to figure out what to play, but I think I'm going to play Shoulder to the Wheel just because I'm sure I, can, I know this song. Well, you wrote it. Yeah. Strain, push muscle and bone, put your hand on the wheel, it'll move in my direction. A heart into the wheel, carry me home. There's a tight rope wire strung across a canyon. I'm standing in the middle with a couple of clowns, one's crying like a baby, one smiling like a banker. I'm a humming to myself, trying not to look down, shoulder to the wheel. No destination, strain, push. Muscle and bone, put your hand on the wheel, it'll move in my direction. Harden to the wheel, carry me home. Strung across a canyon, I'm standing in the middle with a couple of clowns. One's crying like a baby, one's smiling like a banker. I'm a humming to myself, trying not to look down. Shoulder to the wheel, no destination. Strain, push, muscle, and bone. Put your hand on the wheel, it'll move in my direction. A heart into the wheel, carry me home. Is it the chicken or the egg? Well, it doesn't really matter. Keep the box out of the hen house and gather those eggs. Get behind the mule, keep your eyes on the prize. Mind your manners, never ever beg. Shoulder to the wheel, no destination. Strain, push, muscle, and bone. Put your hand on the wheel, it'll move in my direction. Heart into the wheel, carry me home. long road and we're driving in circles think i was just here a little while ago stop this thing let me off this roller coaster wanna be right here with the people i know shoulder to the wheel no destination strain push muscle and bone put your hand on the wheel it'll move in my direction heart into the wheel carry me home shoulder to the wheel no destination strain push Muscle and bone, put your hand on the wheel, it'll move in my direction. Heart into the wheel, carry me home. Shoulder to the wheel, oh yeah. Shoulder to the wheel, the harder we work, the luckier we get. I think that's how it works. You know? You're a hard working dude. <laughs> well, 
You know, I have one of the few jobs, maybe the only job when uh, I'm, I'm at work, I have to uh, go play. That's my job is to play. And uh, very few people have the uh, the job of playing. I, and I enjoy playing. But you have to bring stuff. Yeah, and you, that, that's the work part. <laughs> and set it up. He set up his own sound here today, which is probably, maybe he's heard me before. <laughs> he's got... Well, it's funny. I was on my way out the door, and I thought, I'll just grab the guitar. But then I thought, well, I have gear. What do I have gear for if I don't use it? So I threw in the gear. Yeah. The gear works. It does. I appreciate it. Kelly Fleming, I don't know if, if how he's doing. I know he's had a little issue, and I hope he's coming out of it. I think he's doing okay. I talked to him on the phone the other day. sounded like Kelly to me. He told me a story about the main stage at Kate Wolf, and he said this guy brought in a preamp. And told the main sound guy, I'd like to hook up my preamp. And the guy looked at him and said, why? He said, uh, because I sound better with the preamp. And the main sound guy said, no, you don't. <laughs> and he said, well, I used it last night just down the road at this pub. It sounded great. And the sound guy said, no, it didn't. <laughs> and he walked away. <laughs> And tanker sound people are part of the uh, part of the trade here. But you uh, you improved the sound. I can tell just by listening. Oh, good. Freed me up. Well, anyway, yes. So you are going to perform tonight, right? Not no, tonight. next week. Next no, week. A week from yesterday, the twenty sixth, Friday, uh, Friday the twenty sixth. I got a gig uh, upstairs here in this very building um, at Paul Emmer in the Nevada Theater. Um, uh, with uh, my good friends Joe Craven and John Gurton. We've kind of become a trio in the last few years. Uh, we've played together off and on in various combinations f for many years, but uh, during the pandemic, somehow we, we gelled as a trio, and we've been picking up gigs, and uh, so we're going to do a show at the Nevada Theater, my favorite place to play. Um, and Mark Twain performed on that stage, a well-known fact. and uh, He opened it. I think could be. Yeah, he opened that theater. Uh, huh. Well, anyway, uh, and John, um, Paul Emery and Eli Rush are going to be part of that show, and I'm sure at some point we'll all five get up there and sing a couple of songs together. So it'll be a, it should be a super fun night, Friday the 26th at the Nevada Theater. I wonder, you probably enter through this building, right, and go up the elevator? Um, it can be done that way. So sometimes I'm trying to get in there and the, nobody's answering the front door, so oh. I, 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 can, <laughs> I, I can get in that way. It's a, it's, a, it's a little bit of a secret entrance. But, yes, this is all connected. Okay. I can imagine some very fine music coming out of you three. I can, when you said gelling, I thought, oh, yeah. Well, it, during the pandemic, the guys who toured uh, had no gigs at all, and I had no gigs for the first two or three months, but I tend to do a lot of barroom entertaining, and the restaurants and the bars figured out pretty quick that they could have people sitting on sidewalks and in parking lots, so I, I played quite a bit down the parking lots and the sidewalks and patios, and uh, I got people like John Gurton and Joe Craven and Daryl Langer to come play with me because they were sitting at home going crazy because they hadn't had gigs in months. I think of music as a basic human need, and for me, uh, it's right there with food and water. And if if I don't have a gig in two or three months, or even a week or two, I, I start to get squirrely. Interesting. This is one of my favorite stories. Years ago, I was listening to KVMR, and a, a touring guru came on the radio, and he um, they said, "Well, how, how's how is it going?" And he goes, "Well, I'm a little out of whack because I haven't been able to do my spiritual practice." He was on a book tour or something, and and he described three or four ways that made him feel. And I realized, oh, that's exactly how I feel if I hadn't had a gig in two weeks. Yeah, exactly. And then made me realize that for me, getting out and playing is my spiritual practice. And then if I don't do it, I get out of whack. So I, I just have to do it to stay in whack. So, what are people likely to hear? next saturday well it's, it's pretty uh we tend to mix it up we, we kind of take turns and uh joe will throw out a song and john will throw out a song and then i'll throw out a song and we've done that enough times so that we know what to expect when we first started doing it it was more of a chase and follow each other kind of situation but at this point we actually have beginnings and endings and arrangements so um 
I like to do a bunch of my original stuff. And uh, John, of course, is a master of uh, swing jazz and uh, one of the absolute best guitar players in the world. Played with Dan Hicks and the Hot Licks and Maria Moldar. He actually wrote a bunch of the songs for the Dan Hicks show and um, arranged a lot of that stuff from back in the 60s and 70s. And, uh, and Joe Craven, of course, has played with literally almost every music on musician in the <laughs> world because he's at yeah. all the festivals and they all want him to sit in. And he is yeah. over. And he was, of course, part of the David Grisman quintet for, I think, 10 years and even longer, a long time. And that's about as good a, an acoustic outfit as there ever was. And so he's got lots of experience and and one of the things I've learned about Joe is he's a passionate educator. He really has dug into the underlying factors around music and songs, and uh, he loves to uh, teach, and he has several camps that he does, and um, you get him talking about the back end of how things work in music, and, and he can get started and keep going. Yes, he can. Yeah. <laughs> and so can you. Well, I just like to play. <laughs> I remember once you telling me that uh, when you and Paul used to ride the train to Reno, you could go from one car to the next and, and just keep playing the same That's song right. and they wouldn't know. Riding on the city of New Orleans. <laughs> yeah, I've done that song 10,000 hey, times. Why don't you do another one now? What's it going to be? Um... um a song I made up in May in New Orleans. It's called Down to New Orleans. Southbound up Crescent, I'm going down to New Orleans. Porter says, step this way, you're on train 19. That whistle blows all through the day. Yeah, whistle blows all night. Moaning in the darkness, howling in the light. Going for the A to fade. Hear the brother sing down the Mississippi, going down to New Orleans. I don't know why they call it easy. Hmm. It seems so hard Dance all night in a strip club You gotta play all night in a bar you Gotta have a beat, oh And you gotta have some horns Roll on Big River Another star is born Going on a bicycle I'm riding on my train Down the Mississippi I'm heading down to New Orleans Young folks on the corner, they're drumming up a crowd. Seventy-six trombones and a trumpet, all blowing loud. Make it if you got a twenty, throw it in that box. Well, they might be getting rich or they might be getting shot. Going on a bicycle, I'm riding on a train. Down the Mississippi, I'm going down to New Orleans. Some folks think they're different, some think they're just the same. Some folks go to the lockup, some go to OPP. We just take me down to Frenchman Street, that's where I want to be. Riding on a bicycle, I'm riding on that train. Down to Mississippi, I'm going down to New Orleans.
there you go, riding on that bicycle. Yeah, I got to spend some time in New Orleans in uh, May and June and uh, wrote some songs, and that was the first one I wrote. Peter Wilson joining us today. Uh, you know, I've heard so many songwriters say that the songs just come from somewhere. And I imagine down in New Orleans, they must just come from everywhere. You know, I was there just be for Thanksgiving before last year, and uh, Susan uh, and I, we were there for two or three days, and it was like, we got to come back here. So we found a good place to stay for a month, and we uh, had an extra room, and so invited friends to come down, Rita Hosking and her husband Sean Feeder came down and uh, we had a bunch of people show up Susan's family and mine and uh, but I tried to get up before everybody else and make coffee and I'd sit out on the back porch and scribble and, and play my guitar and I came up with five songs while I was there I like that one it just has a nice light feel to it and like a morning song well we've been uh, working on I brought my little video camera, so there's a YouTube video of that on the, uh, you can go to my channel there, Peter Wilson World, and uh, got Sean and Rita to sing along on the, the, the chorus part, and so there's a video of that. You can see it all online in YouTube. Well, it doesn't seem like it, but maybe about 55 years ago, I was walking through the French Quarter at, along with a couple of friends, and it was about 3 o'clock in the morning. And we saw a bare 60-watt bulb at street level and an open door with a stairway. And it was called, I, I still remember this, the Port of Call. Ah. And we went down these stairs, and for the first time I heard Dave Brubeck doing Tape 5. Ah, nice. His band was playing down there in this nondescript place, and it was awesome. Nice. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you have a lot of moments like that. We really, it, it was... The, one of the things, two of the things about New Orleans is everybody across the, the financial spectrum, the richest people and the poorest people, are all into two things, food and music. And it's just universal. And you can pull into a gas station and get an amazing piece of fried chicken there at the counter where you're paying for your gasoline. And the guy who sells it to you will tell you where his band's playing that night, and it's going to be a good band. It's, it's just chock full of great food and great music. So tempting. 24-7, yeah. Oh, I, I totally recommend it. You're giving me the itch. I haven't been there since the mid-60s. New Orleans. Yeah. Loved it. I was there a long time ago, but just for a long weekend. So tell us, uh, tell us about your event. What's coming up and who's going to be well, there? Well, um... We have a concert this coming Friday, uh, that's January 26th at the Nevada Theater, just upstairs from here in downtown Nevada City, the beautifully refurbished Nevada Theater, and uh, I'll be playing, well, in a trio with John Gurton on guitar and Joe Craven on, on virtually every instrument uh, there might exist. Ver Joe plays fiddle and mandolin and percussion mostly, but who knows what he might bring, and uh then we'll also be sharing the evening with the duo of Paul Emery and Eli Rush. And uh, I'm also in that band sometimes. But uh, next Friday, I'm playing with Joe and John. And then I'm sure we'll have a little jam session at the end. Yeah. You're a busy dude. Well, it's fun to play. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You want to, can you, are you prepared to do one more? I got one more. I'll take a walk in your shoes. Hey, let's all trade shoes. Mm -hmm. Take a walk in my shoes. I'll take a walk in your shoes. Hey, let's all trade shoes. Dark 
darkness there's a candle it's burning by my bed it's burning for you dear love come lay down your head oh yeah take a walk in my shoes i'll take a walk in your shoes hey let's all trade shoes Walk in my shoes. I'll take a walk in your shoes. Hey, let's all trade shoes. River Jordan deep and wide, one by one and all together, we'll reach the other side. Oh yeah, take a walk in my shoes. I'll take a walk in your shoes. Hey, let's all trade shoes. Mm-hmm. Take a walk in my shoes. I'll take a walk in your shoes. Hey, let's all trade shoes. There you go. True song. Mighty fine. Hey, hey. Well, thanks for having me, Larry. It's, always... it's, it's my pleasure. Any any time. I, I really mean that. I love having live music in here, and I feel like I get to be this audience, this privileged audience of one. Right on. Although there are some folks listening. I hope so. Yeah. Oh, there are. Yeah, they're out there. Oh, good. I don't know where they are. We don't know where they are, but yeah, they're absolutely there. Many in their cars, I'd imagine. Yeah. A lot of them, yeah, and we, lots of people listen on rainy days. Well, I'm going to go sit sit by my fire with my the rest of my cup of coffee that I brought and uh, listen to the uh, finish waking up. <laughs> <laughs> Musicians aren't known for mornings. No, okay, it's, well, it's not an actual Peter, thing. Thank you so much for coming in, and uh, Peter brought in a track with he and John Gurton and Joe Craven. Uh, yeah, this is another song I made up in New Orleans. It's called, um, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's a good song. It's one of, oh, it's uh, one inspired by uh, Professor Longhair. It's a, it's a good day. It's a good day. Thank you, Peter. Yeah. Well, it ain't somebody's birthday, I'll go do some song. It's in the key G, everybody sing along. It's a good day, giraffes the soul rides. It's a good day, your life. It's a good day, maybe it'll rain. It's a good day, it's a good day just the same. Take somebody's mood. They're packing up to go, moving on and starting over. Well, here's one thing I know, it's a good day.